I want to talk uh, to you about the enterprise D68 uh, uh, challenges we have uh, seen in, uh, in Europe, actually worldwide. As uh, you may recall, in 2014, there was a, a, a relatively huge epidemic, actually the biggest epidemic with enterovirus uh, D68, which initially started in the United States when over 1,000 children were admitted to the uh, intensive care units in several hospitals in several states. What subsequently happened is that once you have been looking for the virus, you'll probably find it much, much more. However, in Europe, uh, it turned out to be a challenge because uh, ECDC recommended that um, in the first uh, risk assessment that there was not really a problem because nobody's checking and it's not mandatory to report this virus. However, we were lucky uh, to be uh, around in uh, Prague in 2014 with all the clinical virologists and we set up a meeting at, which initiated a unique collaboration in Europe in which uh, over 200 uh, people from over close to 50 laboratories from 24 countries in Europe participated in looking for this unique and actually challenging virus. This virus has been reported by us already a number of times in the city of Groningen, which is actually a relatively small community compared to the United States. We have set up um, all the reagents, primers, probes, genetic analysis, and shared that with all these uh, colleagues. And that was so successful that within two months we were able to uh, analyze close to 18,000 samples with all these uh, uh, collaborators and found that this virus was also pre uh, prevalent and also relevant in Europe. We found children as well as adults, immune compromised patients admitted to the hospitals, to the ICU, and uh, we also have seen uh, some cases of paralysis in Europe, which is actually quite unique. The interesting uh, uh, item that followed after this collaboration is that a number of these laboratories still want to collaborate and still want to share the information they are collecting individually, which is uh, very nice. It's a, a unique feature of a bottom-up approach that uh, laboratories want to collaborate, share information, and this information is really uh, good for patient care, for public health, and has an, a tremendous impact on the implementation of technologies uh, within uh, Europe in such a rapid time. And I'm happy that we can do this. We can do this through the European Society of Clinical Virology. We can do this uh, together with members of WIDIT. So actually, um, this has shown that Europe is definitely prepared for unique challenges.